everyone, Helen Yu here at AWS reInvent in Las Vegas. I'm here with Dave Salvador, who is the director of Accelerated Computing Product and Media. Hello, Dave. So Hello. nice to see you here. Nice to be with you. Well, why don't we? I want to unpack the partnership you announced with AWS here this week. There are so many exciting announcements here. Before we do that, why don't you give a quick introduction of yourself and your role at Nvidia? Sure. So my team and I work together with our top partners, and AWS is, is one of the leading ones, of course, really the the market leader, um, to help them really make sure that the market and their customers really understand the full value of our partnership and on the technologies we work on at every level of the stack. Right. You know, it starts with our GPUs and our infrastructure, but we are working with AWS. You know. Basically, bring a lot of our software integrated into their software environment, and then also bring things like some of our models into places like Bedrock, like our new mm-hmm. truck models, which got announced in Matt's keynote this week. Yeah, congrats! By the way, so you've been partnering for over 15 years now. What makes this year special? You know, it it's been a really great partnership. In fact, AWS is the very first company to put GPUs in the cloud 15 years ago, right? And so they really, I think, saw the promise of accelerated computing and wanted to embrace it early. And, you know, we've been, of course, been working on our CUDA software stack for nearly 20 years now. And in the early days, you know, really scientific simulation, what's called high performance computing, was kind of one of the first areas where CUDA really kind of found a home. And then 2012 happened with, you know, basically AlexNet and the ImageNet competition, where he ran that model on GPUs and just kind of blew away all of the other entrants. And then the next year, everyone was using GPUs. Mm-hmm. And that really kind of started us on this deep learning roller coaster we've been on ever since, right? And so, uh, you know, and throughout those 15 years, AWS has really embraced um, nearly every GPU we make that we make for the data center. You know, if you look as an example, you know, with Blackwell, and this is what we're here to talk about now, they, they, they already offer basically B200, B300, GB200, and then they announced here at the show that GB300 has now gone GA. And in addition, very, very soon, they'll be basically the Mark Arkhips Pro 6000. So that's basically the full array mm-hmm. of Broadwell, or Broad, Broadwell, Broadwell, excuse me, Blackwell, there we go. Um, um, accelerated computing platforms that we offer are now going to be made available. That's quite impressive, right? The speed of getting everything ready, it's just mind blowing. Um, speaking of that, there's also um, announcement about NVLink Fusion. Could you tell us more about what that is? Sure. So I'm going to start with NVLink and then we can talk about NVLink Fusion. So NVLink is our fabric technology that allows our GPUs to communicate with each other very, very quickly, right? Basically at a speed that's about seven times faster than a PCIe bus, right? Which is a technical bus that's used in servers. Um, in addition, we also have our NVLink switch technology, which is basically an all-to-all connecting technology so that any one GPU can talk directly to another GPU with only one hop through the switch and it goes straight to that other GPU. And so um, that's kind of the NVLink fabric technology. What NVLink Fusion does is it brings all of that technology goodness to others who want to basically implement their own processors, you know, some of what we call XPUs into this fabric to take advantage of a lot of the NVLink uh, technology advantages around speed, latency, and connectivity, and also just basically speeding up time to market. And so the announcement that AWS made this this uh, week uh, in Matt's keynote, we're very pleased to see that. And again, it's just another you know aspect of the overall partnership and how we continue to work together. Mm-hmm. And in, in terms of fusion, right, AWS uh, decision to integrate that with their Trinium 4 platform, that why is that so significant from technology a technical achievement perspective? So again, we're on our fifth generation of NVLink technology, right? And then we've been making the switch chips for almost that long as well. So what it is, it's a proven fabric technology. Mm-hmm. It's been proven to be able to deliver great performance at massive scale. Mm-hmm. You know, scales of tens, hundreds of thousands of processors, right? And so, you know, track record matters, you know, in terms of the ability to have a proven technology because at the end of the day, you know, any 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 customer who wants to take NVLink fusion, one of the things, of course, they want to do they want to get to market faster, and NVLink mm-hmm. Fusion will help them do that. I mean, total sounds uh, great. Yeah. You know, I've, I've worked with a lot yeah, of CIOs, CEOs, uh, and CTOs uh, mm-hmm. in, in the industry. And that's being said, one of the really, what's top of mind has always been is the data secure. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. The security, the sovereign, uh, sovereignty of the data. So I heard 
something about yeah. AWS AI factory in the speed here, mm -hmm. and then why Blackwell is the right choice. Right. Well, the AI factory is a great opportunity right. in terms of it's a way to further expand our, our collective yeah, market reach for both AWS mm -hmm. and NVIDIA. It basically allows uh, a company who has essentially either their own data center or their own provision power to basically take advantage of AWS technologies in their data center and bring NVIDIA technologies in as a key enabler of that. And of course, the Blackwell architecture with the MVL72 configuration like GB200, GB300 is ideal because it really is the cutting edge platform. Um, that's really purpose built for things like Agentic AI, mm. right? Agentic AI essentially brings together multiple neural networks, you know, what they call a mixture of experts, right? And so you can put those on different GPUs and then those experts can communicate very, very quickly um, to able to deliver that more sophisticated answer to more challenging questions, which is kind of what Agentic AI was able to do. Mm, that makes sense. And then how do we training these AI models and, and making sure that data is secure? So security is obviously a really important uh, aspect, and AWS has a lot of their own technologies in place for security. One of the things we have in the Blackwell architecture is what's called uh, confidential computing. It creates what's called a trusted execution environment between the GPU and its members using a very robust encryption. Right? And so that when you know that the data and the model and everything that you're running in your AI powered application is secure in that environment and can't be smoothed by anybody else. I can see that being applicable in the government Absolutely. space and then maybe financial services. Financial like services, regulated healthcare. industries, yes, many, many industries can take advantage of this. You're absolutely right. Yeah, makes sense. And tell us a little bit more about public stable. I mean, I heard there are 20,000 Blackwell GPUs. Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of scale are the use case for a scale like this? So, we, you know, we have a very uh, robust research team at NVIDIA, and they do a lot of cutting-edge work looking at all kinds of sort of what's next in AI, mm -hmm. right? That includes algorithms, that includes mm -hmm. using things like reduced precision, like our NVFP4 precision, as an example. It also includes novel and new model architectures, because, you know, while we tend to talk a lot about the advances made at the hardware level of, hey, we've got this new platform, super important, but that platform, that hardware platform, is just the beginning. Mm -hmm. Lots and lots of innovation is happening in the algorithmic. How do you get the work done more intelligently and use those smarter algorithms to get you kind of from point A to point B faster, or frankly, less work, right? And so that's what this research team is focused on, and they're using the Project Save a platform to dig in and do a lot of experimentation to figure out what are some of those next algorithms and advances that we can bring to the community. Well, what other announcements that are being made this week that we haven't talked about? Well, I think we've covered the two big ones. I mean, first of all, they went GA with GB300. Super excited about that. We talked about AI factories. Another great announcement that's going to expand the reach for AWS and NVIDIA and bring more of our technology to more people. Right. And then we um, also uh, talked about NVIDIA Fusion. So, I mean, those are kind of, I'd say, the big three. Uh, the other one I will mention, however, is that our Nemotron models are now available in bedroom. Right, and we were very pleased to see that that got mentioned in Matt's keynote. Um, I, I really appreciate Matt giving us that shout out. And um, it's a, it's a phenomenal models, and we look forward to seeing what customers will, will do with them using them. Awesome. So, what's next with this partnership? Well, you know, we, we never take a foot off the gas, right? But both companies are, are very uh, biased towards action, and we like to move quickly. Um, we are on a yearly roadmap cadence with our platform, so the next platform will be really, we've already talked about it, so we'll be talking about it a lot more in the year to come, is what's called Favor Wuben. And uh, we're excited to collaborate with AWS um, as they start to evaluate and decide how they want to roll that platform out to their customers. And of course, you know, like I said, we work at every layer of the stack with AWS, and so our, our software engineers We'll continue working with, with AWS engineering teams and also AWS customers directly to really get the most out of NVIDIA technologies in the AWS environment. And so that work is just going to continue. So in a lot of ways, it's and it's not really more of the same because we're, we're on this incredibly fast-moving uh, space where we are, are innovating at such a rapid pace. But a lot of it really comes down to working with customers, you know, really customer first, customer focus, and then really expanding what's possible with AI, and then figuring out how to take that what's possible and deliver it to more customers in a most different way. Well, thank you so much for sharing this with us, uh, Dave, and I, I look forward to learning more from some of your customers um, through this week. Excellent. Uh, I appreciate you having us on, and, uh, you know, much more to come. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.